Hello, hello, and welcome once again. J76NY here, and we are back with our American Forces in Operation Watchtower. Uh, as you can see, our air patrols are going out. We have a couple of supply convoys that are just about down to New Hebrides. Our first objective is going to be to get troops up to Santa Cruz and retake that. Uh, fuel, engineering, and supplies are also going to be going to Guadalcanal to build up Henderson Field. I'm going to be doing a bit of uh, editing and cutting from here on out till the end of the series. When I live stream this, there's quite a bit of dead space, and I'm not going to make you guys watch all that. So let's get into the action with today's episode of our Operation Watchtower playthrough on War on the Sea. Got ourselves a scout. Kingfisher has an encounter. Another group of unescorted merchants. Okay. Wasp. Well, don't have much choice here. Uh, we are going to go with high explosive all the way. Send them up. Move to intercept. Actually, probably come out like this. Or that. There are planes up in the position. Soggy frosted flakes is always a good thing. those dauntlesses out. Get another scout up. Tactical. Mm. We'll keep them in three groups of four. Alright, Dauntlesses. Attack. What a way to start the day, huh? Getting bombed. We're all 
pushing over at Lawrence. It looks like we got some good hits all around. Oh, lost two. Number six got hit by one, two, three, four, five. Wow. Number six got hit by three, four, five, six. Number four got hit by one, two, three, four. There we go. Not a bad airstrike. Unfortunately, lost three Dauntlesses, so. Uh, let's check the report. Heavy and heavy, moderate, moderate, and heavy and heavy. We're going to stick around for a little bit and see if anything sinks. Kind of not looking like it's going to happen. Oh, there we go. Got one. All right, we're going to pull out. Alright, return to base. We got the next wave of Dauntlesses coming in. Wasp is ready to launch again. That's cool. Uh oh. That could be a problem. All right, well, can't get out of it, so. Get everybody moving here. Actually, get the beetle just pulling out in front. Everybody, turn on your radar. See who they're planning on going for. Oh, they're coming right down the line. See if we can figure out who their targets are, and then we can uh, take manual control and try and get them out of harm's way as best we can. Four of them. Well, looks like more, more than that's coming. All right, we got one of them. All right, let's pause real quick. Take manual control of the San Francisco. All right, and have her turn the other way. See if we can't mitigate the damages. Yeah, and work 
Very good. And got another one that leaves one left. Right, San Francisco come to a stop. Have everyone come to a stop here. See how bad we're hurt. It's looking pretty bad. Moderate damage, oh yeah. All right, let's get the fires under control. Get that damage repaired before we exit. Looks like we've got uh, one blacked out compartment, so it's gonna cause some problems for propulsion. All right, there we go. Minor damage, minor flooding. All right, what time do we have? Seven in the morning. Just thinking about sending them up to, uh, let's see, Buka. That's where those planes came from, unless there's a carrier in the area. Next wave of bombers. Okay, so uh, what are we looking at for damage ships? Moderate and minor, moderate and moderate, so yellow squadron, shit, what number was that? Number two. I got number two. Red Squadron. Target number five.
Yeah, you can target number four. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. All right, let's get them all into position. Do some time compression here. Okay, attack. Attack. Uh, you are way past where I wanted you to be. Oh, whoops. Change your target and attack. All right, they are pushing over. Three hits, one dud. Not one hit on the uh, the last one out here. All right, lost one Dauntless. Let's check the report. Heavy damage, heavy flooding on number four. Speed things up a bit. See if we get a sink, which we won't. Uh, oh, excuse me. I can almost guarantee that. That first strike was a lot better. Okay, you guys can return to base. I guess it's up to uh, Crimson Tide to deal with them. I'm gonna launch another scout up that way. Oh, they're running away now. Uh, zero's way out here. That's not good. Wonder if I could, uh... Nope. Oh. That's interesting. Well, let's begin. Rather not get my Dauntlesses shot down if I can avoid it. Oh, boy. And we've got our uh, carrier battle group in on the action, too. Let's go take a look at the wasp. There she is, booking along. Oh, they're coming in on... Oh, shit. We gotta get the hell out of here. So he may be coming in on a strafing run. Oh, not the wasp. Don't do it. No, don't hit the wasp. Don't hit. Oh, come on. Kamikaze. Not cool. Not cool at all. Minor damage. The Juno took some damage as well. 
Well, okay. I think I just sped the wasp up something, Piers. So we're going to... There's more? Okay. That's <laughs> not good. Let's try and avoid the... Uh, Kamikaze attacks here. Looks like they're coming in on Wasp again. It's good that we shot him down and all, but, you know. Have her crash right into the carrier like that. Uh, not so cool. Alright, is there more? I don't think this is going to be any damage that will cause us any problems, but... Uh-oh. Let's form everybody up again. Juno's fine. Wasp was fine. Let's get out of here. Well, that was interesting. See if the Crimson Tide uh, battle group can even catch up with them. So we should probably launch some... Uh, they're going to start strafing us with uh, zeros. We should probably launch some uh, Wildcats to provide air cover here. And, uh, Kingfisher. Not gonna worry about that. I think they finally figured out the, uh... Benefit of air power. So slow. All right, you are just about where you need to be to re uh, get some. Ah, oh, come on now. Fine, fine. I don't think we're gonna catch these merchants, but we managed to turn them around. So there's that. Uh oh, he may actually get shot down. Well, maybe not. That one zero heading back to base. Uh oh. Oh shit. It's crap. Oops, sorry, Tautog. More concerned with my Kingfisher. See any damages? All right, let's not let's not dive. Uh, are they coming back? Oh yes, they are. What the hell? This Well, I definitely don't like my, uh, my sub loitering around in the area. Let's get this damage repaired. One damage control party.
I went away and washed my bowl and a couple other dishes that were in the sink and we're still f fighting the damage. That should take care of all of it though. I can't believe they strafed. I didn't even realize the Tautog was in the area. Non-existent situational awareness, that's what that's called. Alright, there we go. Okay, so we've got them to deal with. Now we got our battle group in here too. This might turn out to be a little longer fight than what I thought it was going to be. Alright. And there they are, so let's uh, see how far they are away from our battle group. They're already targeting. Oh, I had manual fire still on. <laughs> stop. I'm going to have to stop targeting everybody. Hopefully not. Yep. Really, really dislike the manual fire option there. Fifty-two thousand yards. Oh my god! You guys aren't even gonna get in on this. So they don't start popping off shots at fifty-two thousand yards. All right. So you guys are just gonna turn around and leave. Okay, we've got three flights of 12. Let's take a look at the uh, damage report here. So one, two, and four. Red Squadron. I'm up. Target number one. Blue Squadron. Down. Target number two. And Yellow Squadron. Down. Target number four. Speed them into position. Right, we'll watch from a uh and eh, one of the untargeted ships here. I'll watch from you for now. So we can see everybody. Any good hits on her. Let's pause this for a second. And move in. There we go. Number four is sinking. Let's see what we can do to number two. Patrol over the area. Okay, 
Okay, she's sinking. She's dead in the water. Heavy and moderate. Give it a little bit of time. <coughs> I don't think she's going to sink. Heavy and heavy, you never know. I have to actually give this a little bit of time here to spread those fires. See how fast is she going? Three knots. Fires do look like they're spreading just a little bit. I'll let her finish out her patrol pattern here and and call this one. Yeah, she's getting those fires under control. Actually, gonna call it now. So they say variety is the spice of life, and we definitely didn't have any lack of variety in this episode from our own air attacks on the unescorted supply convoy to the Japanese striking our carrier group and a submarine. Their pilots finally showed up, so it looks like they're going to be changing their tactics again. Uh, we are going to have to respond to that by making sure our Wildcats are ready to go. Anyway, if you liked the episode, hit that like button. If you are new and would like to follow along through the rest of the campaign, hit the subscribe button. And as always, leave your thoughts, tips, advice, and general knowledge in the comment section below. J76NY saying thank you very much for watching and have yourself a very good day.